All right, um, today we're making a video demonstrating the installation of a new Carolina Shooter Supply part for the Catamount Fury. And um, this part will allow you to modify the Fury uh, so that you can use the Sega shotgun magazines. They don't quite fit the way this uh, shotgun is set up, but with the uh, easy installation of this um, plate that we've developed, um, you can easily use Sega mags in your Catamount Fury. This is a Fury 1. You'll notice it does not have a magwell. Uh, the, the Fury 2 does have a magwell. You can, you can do this with your Fury 2, but you do have to remove your magwell first and then we're going to install this plate right in the front part of the uh, of the trunnion here. Let me just demonstrate uh, the fitment of a Sega mag on this Fury um, prior to the installation of the part and here I have a Sega 12 12 round mag you can see right here um, and this magazine basically inserts like this. We have the mag release. And you can see that this slot for the magazine is just going to be too big. And once I get it in here with the mag release, it just, it just doesn't, the, the hole is too big and the magazine doesn't catch. So with the installation of this plate, it's basically going to make the hole a little bit smaller and it'll allow the magazine to catch. Okay, I've got my uh, I've got my Fury now in my uh, in my vise, and here's the plate again. And basically, we're just going to slide this plate into this little slot right here. If I can just get it in. So once you've got the plate in there. You can see a little hole that we've pre-drilled in that plate. You can see that hole right there. And what we're going to do, this, so you can see with the installation of this plate that now this, um, the, the hole where you're going to insert your magazine just becomes a little bit smaller by about uh, an eighth of an inch. So with that plate installed, we're just going to mark that spot and then we're going to drill and tap uh, and, and uh, install this plate. So again, just push push the plate as far forward as it'll go, and there's a lip here that it's going to rest against. So you just get it as far forward as you can, and then just mark the spot right there where you want the drill and tap, and then we just mark that with a, with a punch. And remove the plate. Okay, you just want to get your hole started and then just Okay, just showing you that from a different angle here. You can see where I'm drilling here and just keeping the drill straight. Can you see that? hard to see but got a little hole there it's maybe slightly off center but that doesn't matter as long as it's uh, as long as it's far enough back that's the important thing so one little trick just you, know, you may be wondering uh, how, you know how do I know how deep to make that hole and what I like to do is just put a little piece of tape on my on my drill bit to give me an indicator of the depth of the hole and I just Marking the, marking the screw, um, put the tape on there, and that's how far down we need to go into the trunnion to make the hole for that screw. Okay. 
So I've finished drilling that hole. Again, that was a 6x32 um, size drill bit, and now I've got to, uh, I've got to tap that hole. So just got a standard tap wrench here and a 6x32 uh, tap that we sell in the drill and tap set that, that comes. Uh, you can either buy this or maybe you have your own. But um, So we're going to thread these holes, and I'm also going to be using this... Um, tap magic oil it's especially made for cutting um, works a lot better than just a, a standard oil so I do recommend this type of oil uh, and we sell this if you don't have some okay so I've installed the tap in the tap wrench now I'm just gonna put a little oil in here and don't be afraid to use that oil and then we're just gonna get this tap um, down in here and just get it started so you want to just give it a like a quarter of a turn until you get it starting to cut until it grabs and then just back it out pull it all the way out clean it off and then just back in the hole Keep it straight and again just making little quarter of a turns until it grabs right there I know you can't it's hard to see this with my hands and but I'm basically just going straight down applying pressure and giving it a quarter of a turn at a time when it grabs and then just back it out Okay, I've got it at a little bit better camera angle here now and just again pushing straight down on the tap just giving it a quarter of a turn when it gets to be a little bit too much resistance stop come back and then just a little bit more at a time just like that and then add a little more oil you can't use too much back it out and then just applying pressure cut it a little further just like that back it out clean out those threads pull it all the way out and we'll, we'll clean it out and we'll give it a few more turns And back down in. I'm going to get to a point of resistance here, right there, and then just a little turn. You can see it's cutting. It's cutting very easily here. I'm not getting much resistance on that, but you can feel it when it's cutting new threads right there. And then just quarter of a turn or an eighth of a turn, and then just back it out and then just back down in, just like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've got that cut deep enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna insert my screw and test the, test the depth of that just to make sure I've got enough threads to get this screw all the way in. And so it's nice and tight, which is good. And it does look like I've cut it deep enough here. Yeah, this it's grabbing plenty of thread and it's getting all the way down flush with the receiver. So that's very good. Okay, now that we've got our hole threaded. We're going to insert this uh, plate. It goes basically there's a slot back here and if you just start it from back here and push it all the way in through uh, you can see now it's push it all the way forward just like that okay before we install uh, the screw I do recommend that you use this thread lock on it if you want to install the, the plate first and get your magazine set and then go back and lock it in later um, that might be a good suggestion but I do recommend the red 
uh, turbo lock or thread locker, we sell this on our website. Okay, so just insert the screw. I'm sure you don't need a demonstration of how to tighten a screw. But basically, um, just get the screw in place and tighten it down. Okay, I've just about got that screw again. That's a, a 6 uh, by 32 hex um, screw. We provide the wrench, the drill bit that we used earlier, and the tap in our drill and tap set. The screw would come with the mag plate, but you're going to need this hex wrench if you didn't buy the drill and tap set. But again, just get that in all the way, and that'll tighten the plate up nicely, um, just like that. And we're done with the install. Okay, um, the next part of this that I wanted to show you was the, the modification that needs to be made to the Sega 12. This is an SGM Sega 12 uh, magazine. The magazine on the right has been modified to fit um, the catamount. The, ma the magazine on the left is the, f is the factory mag for the Sega. And um, you can just see here, trying to get the light on that, you can see that the cut that I've made in that magazine <clears throat> right here, basically we've just shortened up this uh, this tang, if you will, on the end of the mag. This is the front lip of the mag that's going to clip right under the plate that we just installed. On the, on the Sega mag, it's this piece here is about a half an inch um, in, uh, in height, and here we've got about a quarter of an inch in height. We've removed the plastic from about here up to here. Let me show you how this fits. Okay, so here's the modified magazine with the mag plate installed. The Sega mag basically is going to install just like it would on a Sega. It's basically locks right in. Just like that. And as you can see on the original Sega magazine, there's just not enough there's just way too much lip there. This magazine is not gonna is not gonna lock and load. So, using a Dremel tool or a file, and very patiently, um, you're gonna want to just remove the plastic on that until you've removed enough for it to lock in place. Just keep removing a little bit of a time, a little bit at a time, until you get it to where it fits like this. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is just a, just a demonstration of how the magazine feeds, in fact that it does feed. Here's the modified Sega magazine that I showed you in the catamount here, so let me just do a little demonstration of that. Show you how it looks with the, with the magazine installed. Looks pretty cool. And there we go. So you can see that magazine and it's tight in the, in the mag carrier there and it just, um, it's a good option for you to put this uh, mag plate in and then you can use the Sega magazines and instead of this five round magazine, you could buy one of these 12 round mags and get that set up in your catamount.